In this video we're going to have a look at the results we got from making a simple sundial. If you've not seen that video I would suggest you go and have a quick look at it. But to remind you, we made a simple sundial by putting a bolt up through a paper plate. We marked a line for south. We then carefully set it up using a compass so that south pointed directly south. And then we recorded the point where the shadow fell on an hourly basis. These are the results that I got by recording the shadow on my plate between 10 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, I have joined each point, each cross, to the base of the bolt. As you can see, there are a number of things that are interesting about this. First of all, the position of the shadow changes, which shows how the sun has moved through the sky. Not only that, but the length of the shadow gets shorter until one o'clock, and then it starts to get longer again. And finally, the shadow is at its shortest at one o'clock when it points exactly due north which shows that the sun must have been exactly due south. Please note that these pictures were taken in British summer time. If we'd taken this in the winter then all those hours would have been an hour earlier so that that one o'clock cross would in fact have been midday. So what does that tell us about the way the sun is moving? Well, for a start, it doesn't show us that the sun's moving. This is happening because the earth is rotating. And because the earth is rotating, it looks like everything else is moving. And it's the same as traveling in a car and looking out at the countryside going by. It's the car that's moving, not the countryside. So the fact that the earth rotates every 24 hours makes it look like the sun is moving from east to west and as it moves it gets higher in the sky and then goes down on the other side in the west where it sets. This means that in the early morning the sun is to the east and the shadows are long in the westerly direction. As the sun becomes overhead at one o'clock the shadows are shortest and then as it goes down to the west, the shadow moves round to the east and gets longer again. One final thing. If you join all the dots up where the tips of the shadows have been, you will see that you get a straight line that runs from the west to the east. And this is true wherever you are in the world. If you have two shadow points and you join them up, they will always point east-west. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and entertaining. We do have a number of other videos on our website and if you follow this link below you will be able to find them.